And World Environment Day, it's really about bringing awareness to the issues that UNEP and Portland and others are working on uh, every day. It is the, an international day, it's the United Nations Day for the Environment, and it is celebrated all over the world. Uh, seriously, colleagues of, of mine and other parts of the UN and cities that we've been in continue the tradition and use it as a platform. And I have to say some of the, I think we've now raised awareness uh, not only in the city about World Environment Day, but back in Washington with the congressional delegation because we've got you know, Ron Wyden and others, you know, who are, are saying, saying the words World Environment Day. So thank you to Portland for that because you really raised awareness at, at very high levels in the U.S. government. Um, the UNEP works on many, many different kinds of issues. And what I've come to realize is that working at the city level is probably one of the most effective things that we can do. And if you look at the logjam at the international level, uh, where I work, and some different negotiations that uh, we're aware of, uh, such as the climate negotiations, we look at uh, the politics uh, you know, in the federal government, uh, some of the, the polarization that's going on, and I did used to work in the U.S. Senate, and things were you know, a little, little bit better in terms of what we could get done across the aisle. And I think that mood, uh, everyone would agree, has changed. And so you look at where is their energy and action uh, to move forward on these issues. And I, I truly believe that it's at the city level. So it's been wonderful to be here and to see some of the great examples of what Portland is doing. Um, the food, the uh, theme of World Environment Day this year was on food and food waste and loss. And so I w actually learned and was very pleasantly surprised to meet with some of the experts here in Portland about what's going on, to learn that there's been, I think, one of the earliest, if not the earliest, uh, professional staff in the city assigned to those issues, I think going back nine years, linking food waste and use to sustainability, looking at the food bank programs, bringing in businesses, you know, the nonprofit sector. So it was extremely inspiring. And clearly Portland has a lot to teach uh, and share with other cities in this region as well as around the world. And I'll, I'll come back to that because uh, I'm not going to let you guys go. <laughs> um, so cities, uh, the, the reason why that is so important is if you look at what's going to happen around the world on population growth. And right now, we're just over 7 billion people on the planet, which is a, quite an increase uh, already if you look at uh, our history as a, as a species. But we're going to grow to at least 9 billion. 9 billion is a really a, uh, a conservative estimate by the year 2050. 2050, that's very close, you know? It's less than 50 years away. Uh, and most of that growth is gonna be in the developing world, and most of it's gonna be in cities. So what's gonna happen is, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa and in Asia in particular, there's gonna be incredible city growth, incredible numbers of cities of a million or more people added, literally hundreds of cities added from what we have today. And you see that happening already in places like China, just bursts of, of urbanization. So we have a lot of work to do together. And the fact is those cities and what happens and how they develop is extremely relevant to each one of us here. Because if it's done in a, in a conventional way, then we're gonna have a lot of greenhouse gases added, a lot of water used, a lot of biodiversity lost, and it's gonna affect our lives and how we are. It's a very connected, both ecologically and you know, in terms of global trade. Uh, so, we need to join at the city level, at the individual level, through the UN, through our, our state, city, federal, and uh, international uh, uh, forums and entities to try to work together on these issues. Now what UNEP is doing that I really feel absolutely proud of uh, and, and believe in, and I was so happy when I joined UNEP about five years ago, that our executive director was focused on this thing he calls a green economy. And we can call it lots of things. But the point is that environment can't be an afterthought. I mean, the environment and this natural earth is where we get all of the things that we use to live, where every species in, on the planet uh, gets its livelihood. And the conventional, you know, uh, Western industrialized view of the environment has been, it's later, something you do later. You deal with that once you've developed. And that message has gotten to developing countries, and we're trying to turn that around. And we're trying to bring the message that if you don't have a healthy, sustainable uh, environment and approach to the environment, 
then you cannot develop, in fact. And it's actually worse for poverty and people who rely on natural resources for their well-being. So we're doing that through a lot of analytical work. I'm glad to see so many of the universities here. That's essential to what we do. Um, and that's the message we're bringing. Businesses are also doing amazing work. And I, I had uh, a few interesting meetings with CEOs and other uh, high-level folks from businesses that are really at the head of the curve saying, we need a new business model, and we need net, not just net zero, you know, damage to the environment. We want to give back. We want to have a plus sign at the end of our business operations to show that actually we can operate in a way that there's a net gain to the environment when we do our operations. It's possible. We just have to turn around the thinking. So I really want to challenge all of you to, you know, Portland, we did select Portland because there's so many great examples of what has been done here and what can be done. And I think you all are so humble, you might not even realize you know, what you're doing is innovative and could be very, very useful to places uh, outside of Portland. I know, I know some of that's going on, but we really hope to come back and bring Portland into our network, uh, which is global and it's, we work with all different types of folks. It's not just the governments, but uh, we really would love to bring Portland and its great examples along and also see even more done here uh, because we're not there yet, and it's a bit scary when I, I look at some of the reports I get to read. Um, but I'm extremely optimistic. You have to be in this business, and I think this has energized me. I hope the week has energized you all, and I really look forward to working together in the future. Thanks.